Never ever go to bed angry. There was once a couple who had a serious fight one evening. Because the wife went through the husband's phone and saw that he was chatting with a lady. Why are you going through my phone anyway? That's she! I thought you went to boys' school! What does it matter? Give me my phone! Really? Don't ever go through my phone again! I I, I'm telling you! It this. just popped up on your phone! Don't go through my phone! I again. Why do you always do that? Why are you always looking for a reason to fight? Why do I always have to see strange people? Why do you phone? always look for that? I do not look for it. They just pop up! What do you want? What do you, what do you want? Because my God just wants me to see it! Who is she? Oh God, thank you God, you always want to show something. What do you want to know? Tell, ask me. Everything about it. Who is she? Um, Where is she? How is she? What kind of human being is she? Oh, you want to know how she is? I bet you don't. Don't start it, okay? I'm not in the mood for that. Right now, I want to sleep. Okay? Oh, you can't sleep. We thank you. Have a conversation. Thank you. Good night, my love. Babe, no. babe, listen. Babe! Ah, ah, ah. What is this? Why is this so hard? to tell me who she is I just want to know who she is who is she you know what instead of thinking of who she is and worrying your pretty head about it why don't you just get out of this just give me a little something, something and stop worrying your pretty head about this you're ridiculous you're very ridiculous I love you too really? Yeah. this is the marriage you promised me? the best ever really? 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 Instead of them finding a better way of settling their misunderstanding, they both went to bed very angry at each other. In the middle of the night, the wife kept tapping and calling the husband. She kept calling and calling, but he was very angry and didn't want to listen to whatever she was saying. Instead, he woke up and left to go sleep in the living room. He woke up the next morning, still very angry. He left for work without even saying a word to his wife. He came back from work to find the house the way he left it, very messy. And to his surprise, the wife was still sleeping. Hey, wake up. But he came closer and realized that something was wrong. He saw his wife's inhaler. Hey. Shit. He then checked and she wasn't breathing. Hey. Hey. He tried to call 911 but it was too late. Hello? The wife was gone. Yes. It turns out that she had an asthmatic attack in the middle of the night. She tried using her inhaler, but there was nothing in there. That was when she tried to call the husband for help, but he was still very angry and didn't mind her. It's just sad what anger can do. This man could have saved his wife's life, but because of his anger, he Wake did it. So please never go to bed angry because you never know if you or the person you're mad at will wake up the next morning. Don't sweat the small stuff. Apologize, forgive and move on. I know it's not easy to say I'm sorry especially when you think you've done nothing wrong. But trust me, it's better to say I'm sorry and live peacefully than to do what this man did. Knowing that you can never ever see your wife or your husband again. You will never get to say I'm sorry and you will never ever get to say I love you to the one who means the whole world to you.